I hope you're having a great day. Uh, we're working our way through Peter's first letter. Uh, currently we're in chapter 4 and today we're going to look at verses 7 through to 11. Well, Peter writes this, he says, The end of all things is near. Therefore be alert and sober of mind so that you may pray. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have to serve others as faithful, <laughs> faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very word of God. If anyone serves, they should do with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power for ever. Amen. Peter picks up on a lot of different things there. Um, but I have to say that the, the, um, the whole issue surrounding hospitality was the thing that spoke to me most. I've had the great privilege of travelling in a number of different countries around the world. <clears throat> and I've enjoyed the hospitality offered to me in some of the most remarkable uh, sets of circumstances. I've eaten meals with families who barely had enough to meet their own needs, never mind uh, feed me, and yet they willingly shared what they had with me. I've had some wonderful times in some, some really fascinating uh, places. And I've learned through that the value of just being. You know, not trying too hard, but just being as God intended us to be, being who we are made to be, being with people and for people. Hospitality is a gift. It breaks down all kinds of barriers and opens up a world of possibilities to us. When we are open to others and willing to share our resources and our love, to be able to use our gifts and talents to bless each other and other people, um, seeking nothing back for ourselves, we truly open the channels through which the Holy Spirit can flow. And when we hold back our resources or our gifts and talents, we put rocks in the stream that hinder his works and break up the flow. Paul, sorry, Peter wanted his readers to know the value of keeping things in the right place. You know, if we truly carry the Holy Spirit within us, when we speak, he speaks. When we act, he acts. When we uh, act, we're driven by him. When we love, he loves too. He loves through us. When we weep, he weeps with us. When we bless others, his love is also poured out. It's a simple thing. Keep the stream clear of rocks and rubbish and the water flows steadily. It's the way the Holy Spirit works through us. Let's pray. Lord God, help each of us to be good conduits for your spirit. Help us to make straight the paths before us and within us, that you might be in full flow in all that we say and all that we do. Anoint us and bless us to serve you well. And help us, Lord, to move in the power of your spirit, in truth and in faith. We ask for the glory of the kingdom and in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.